Good day everybody, it's Ugar here, The Unknown, and today I want us to look at something very important. Today is a Monday, the beginning of a new week, we're going to get plenty of opportunities. They're going to be the same kind of opportunities we got last week, last of last week, and the same kind of opportunities we get every day. And the main reason for that is uh, the fact that we trade the same thing each and every day. Every day when we come to the charts, we are looking for the same kind of trades each and every day, okay? And that's what makes trading enjoyable and simple, okay? And guys, as you can see here, it's the most explosive trading strategy for indices. And this simply means most of the days your take profit will be hit in less than 15 minutes, okay? For me, on average, my take profit is roughly hit in four to six minutes. And of course, there are days when it will actually get hit in less than three minutes and other days it will go all the way to the 30 minutes. However, if it goes beyond 30 minutes, I just want to close that trade, okay? That's how explosive it is, okay? And obviously, we, we target 50 pips. And 50 pips, it's something very easy because we are trading indices, okay? For indices, 50 pips is very easy. Indices can go roughly 400, 300, 1000 pips a day, okay? So for us, 50 pips is very, very, very easy, okay? That's why I'm saying in most, uh, mostly six minutes, I will be out of the trade with my profit and I can just close my screen and continue with my day because I believe... The most important thing is like freedom, okay? You need to be free, okay? You don't want to be on your charts the whole day because that simply means you are like everybody who is uh, waking from morning all the way to the evening, okay? So guys, I use this strategy for NASDAQ. I use it for S&P. I use, I use it for Dow. And I recently added German 30. Sorry guys, here I said 50. It's German 30, okay? I recently added it and it's working very, very fine on the strategy, okay? So guys, we follow, we, we actually follow the process each and every day and that's what makes things easy. Hence, you heard me saying we are looking for the same trades each and every day, okay? And I'll explain a lot of things as we continue. I know most of you already know this, but there's a lot I'm going to actually be explaining here, okay? And for those who are new, we have five criterias and this criteria simply helps us uh, uh, with sitting on our hands. Because we know that for traders, the hardest thing is actually patience. People don't know when to trade, okay? And our criteria help us with that. Because uh, the most important thing in trading actually is knowing when not to, okay? Knowing when not to, okay? Because you want to preserve your capital, okay? And that's the most important thing. So you need to know when not to trade, okay? And that's why the criterias come in, okay? That's where they help us. That's where they come in handy, okay? So guys, we have around uh, five criterias, okay? So the first one, I usually mark it uh, in green because some days you won't be able to identify this. However, you can continue even if this one hasn't been met. But for these other ones, you cannot go from this one to this one if this one has not been met you cannot go from this one to this one if this one has if this one has not been met okay and you cannot go from this one to this one if this one hasn't been met in other words we have to make sure all these criteria are met remember the most important thing is knowing when not to so we are trying to avoid uh, trading when we are not supposed to trade okay so this is very very important and i'm just going to explain these things okay so the first criteria says identify trapped traders before the session, okay? You need to know who is trapped before the session. Yes, of course, some days you won't be able to know that, but there are days when you will and when uh, you are actually able to identify that you must do that, okay? So let's say, uh, for instance, I'm going to use this line, okay? Let's say this is yesterday, okay? Let's say this is yesterday, because when you come to your charts, you need to know there is information that you have and there is information that you don't have. You have the information relating to how yesterday traded. And that information is going to be very handy when it comes to the current day. OK, so there uh, this will be today. OK, the day on which you are trading. OK, that's the current day. This is the previous day. Today it's Monday. Obviously, this will be Friday and this will be today. Okay, guys, let's just say, uh, okay, let's say uh, yesterday traded like this. It traded like this, and then if it broke out, and then it came down, and then, yes, it ended up going up, and it came and closed here. So this simply means there are three things we have. I told you there is information you have from the previous day, which is important during the current day, okay? So what you have is... 
you literally have the highest pro the highest price that was reached the previous day okay the highest price that was reached the previous day okay let's just put it in this uh, dotted lines because that's what i use on my charts okay and then un i mean yeah okay this is in red it's fine yes and then another thing you have it's the closing price where did prices close the previous day and this is another important level that you need okay and then lastly you have the lowest price that was reached on the previous day okay today's monday so these will be roughly uh prices that were reached on friday okay okay let me try to make this a little bit thick okay where can i make it thick uh okay 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 it's supposed to be somewhere here yes so i'm just making this one thick for everybody to see okay so as you can see we have three important levels okay from the previous day this information is highly important okay so when we look at the current day let's say prices actually closed here the previous day so mostly it's gonna be the opening price of the of of, of the current day provided there is no gap in the market if there is a gap then we will use the we will use the same uh, prices that prices closed the previous day we won't use the gap okay so let's just say uh, on the current day prices do this okay these are indices therefore they move well uh during the uh, the u.s session okay that's why we wait for the equity time okay so let's say okay they did this and then they broke to the upside okay they broke to the upside okay this is uh, this is good this is good let's say the session is now opening here okay so this simply means we're gonna come to our charts roughly 10 to 5 minutes before the session begins okay and then we're gonna identify trap volume before the session so if you look at this uh this 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 price behavior here you will realize that okay they went up up and then they drove people down and drove people down so who is at a loss when prices are here remember we are coming five to ten minutes before the equity opens who is at a loss and whoever is at a loss is trapped okay whoever is at a loss is trapped okay and remember there are people who don't use stop losses so the market is most likely gonna punish these guys okay so this is trapped volume before the session why because they are at the loss when the session is literally opening okay so these guys are trapped okay these guys are trapped and that's what we call trapped volume before the session okay so please pay close attention to this i'll mark it red everybody in this box is trapped okay because these guys went down and down and they are losing of course people who bought here have been closed when prices went down okay so whoever went down is literally trapped okay and the session that's before the session 10 to 5 minutes and most of the time what you realize is they are gonna trap on the closing price and that's because indices move well in the u.s session okay and of course uh the reason we identify this volume is because mostly if they're gonna give us a sell opportunity they are not gonna release these guys yes of course there are days when they will release these guys okay so let's just say i'm gonna erase this okay because i have to go to the uh to other criteria say maybe they give us an opportunity to sell a sell opportunity okay we need to know now that mostly they are not gonna release these guys so if you want to be holding beyond 50 pips i said if you we are targeting 50 pips right but if you want to be holding beyond 50 pips what uh, i suggest is open two positions or more than two positions just divide your lot size if for the day you are preparing to t to take a lot size of one divide it into two okay that means you can take 0 0.5 0 0.5 and one 0 0.5 will literally take your profit strictly at 50 pips because you need to get paid okay and then the other one can continue however when the other one is continuing you need to know that most of the days they are not going to release these guys so they might just be sending traders down so that they end up becoming trapped volume okay and that's when they will continue up okay 
and uh, mostly there are people who will take a trade and see that it's in it's it's winning. They'll close their charts and expect to come back maybe after five hours. Now they expect that they will be in very big big profits. Just to find that mostly when they come back they will be at a loss. And I'm saying this because I have experienced it a lot. Okay. Most of the things I share with you are things that I've experienced, okay? So I have experienced this. There were time when I took trades and I will just hold, close my charts, go out. When I come back, I realize, oops, I didn't even have a take profit. Or maybe I was targeting 150, 200 pips because I know these are indices and they're explosive, okay? And then when I come back, I'll realize that, oops, oh, they've closed me, okay? And that's the most uh, painful thing to go through, okay? So as I said, I'm going to erase this because I have have to continue uh, going from uh, the criteria. So you can see we identify trap volume before the session and the importance of this is knowing when uh, you, uh, you, you might end up becoming part of trap volume. Of course there are days when they will actually uh, just explode to the downside okay however most of the days they won't so for me when i'm building a strategy i need things that happen most often okay let's say out of 10 times i need something that happens eight times that's what i build a strategy based on okay rather than building a strategy based on something that happens maybe two times two times out of 10 times okay that simply means you don't have much of an urge okay so guys you know now why we identify trap volume before the session yes of course most are uh, more there are days not most okay of course there are some days when you won't be able to identify trap volume before the session simply because they will just trend 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 and you won't know who is closed okay or sometimes they will do this this and then prices come and open here in the middle so you don't know if those who went up are trapped or those who went down are trapped because now prices are opening a in the middle okay so we can continue however we must just be more careful okay but when prices are here of course we know that these guys are trapped because now uh the session is going to open somewhere around here okay so that is important now we are coming we are coming to the second criteria which is roughly waiting for the equity open okay the equity open is strictly 9 30 us time if you are in south africa of course i'm in south africa i'm gonna uh mention south african time it's easy for me because i know the time for south africa it's gonna be uh 15 30 okay however you must know that okay on the first sunday of november uh it's gonna go to 4 30 now it's it's actually 3 30 p.m so it's gonna go to 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 4 30 p.m why because there's something called day uh day daylight say that is it uh daylight saving time just go and search about that so it's gonna go to uh it's gonna go to 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 14 30 okay no i mean it's gonna go to 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 now it's 15.30. It's going to go to 16.30 South African time, okay? And then when it's uh, the second week of March, it comes back to 15.30, okay? Okay, that's important. You need to know because there are times when you'll see, oh, now we are using four, we are using uh, uh, 4.30 rather than 3.30 p.m. South African time. And you must be able to know why that happens, okay? So this one is not rocket science you just need to wait for time look at your clock okay just wait for time as you can see we did this roughly uh 10 to 5 minutes before the session and the session now is denoted by this box so we have to wait for the session to open and mostly we're not going to chase the first candle of the session okay uh we're just going to go to a one minute time frame when we are doing this you can do this on a 15 or you can do this on a five minute time frame because that makes everything easier to see. However, when after this has been identified, what I do is I go to a one minute time frame. Okay. Although I will uh, most likely put uh, a five minute time frame on another monitor and a 15 minute time frame on another monitor. That's not important. Okay. Even if you are on a one minute time frame, it's okay. I prefer trading on the one minute time frame because. Uh, if you are on a five minute time frame that by the time you get an entry already i'm out of the trade okay so i will switch to a one minute time frame and just wait for the equity to open i'm not going to chase the candle that uh, opens the equity okay because mostly it's going to be a stop hunt okay so uh this one is the easiest one you just wait for the time you look at your watch okay and now the third one is the most important thing remember i said this is the only one that you can trade without okay this 
the first one okay however when it comes to this one this this one becomes a prerequisite of this one and this is a prerequisite okay like you can't you can't trade this one if this one is not met okay okay so it's important for this one to be met remember the goal the goal is to know when not to okay when not to okay when not to okay so we are not going to trade if this ones are not fully met so this simply means we are not trading before the equity time okay so now once the equity time is opened our next step is to go and identify trap volume before a uh, trap volume during the session this time around is during the session okay and that's something very important and for this we use chart patterns we use chart patterns we have different kind of chart patterns okay so i won't be able to actually explain all the chart patterns okay because we have many however uh, you can just do a google search and then you will find plenty of chart patterns okay those are the chart patterns we use okay and again for those who have the playbook it's in the description if you need it for those who have the playbook i literally have the chart patterns okay if you look into the playbook i think it's page 12 pay from page 12 i've put a lot of chart patterns that you need to know as you can see i've put all the chart patterns that you need to know okay just make sure you master them okay because right now i can't possibly write all the chart patterns that you need but i'm gonna give an example of course because this is important okay so i'm just gonna zoom this around okay because now uh this is the important part look at this now let's say the session opens and it it goes up okay it goes up and now remember this is the session time okay uh let's say just okay i'll explain uh two, th two different things and now let's say as they are trading they just uh take their time relax why because the goal is to know when not to trade okay remember that okay let's say they now do something like this they're taking their time they do something like this and guys they are simply taking their time okay we are sitting and doing nothing because the goal is to know when not to and then all of a sudden they do something like this okay so one thing you can see obviously is that what you have here it's a left shoulder now this is the pattern okay because uh, the only way to identify trap volume during the session is to use a chart pattern. And the reason I love a chart pattern is because we don't know what insiders are doing. Remember I told you, when it comes to day trading, it's all about market makers. It's a lot of manipulation. It's not the same as long-term trading. For long-term trading, the market is affected by news. For short-term trading, the market is really affected by greed and uh, it's actually fear and greed. It's more it's more of emotions therefore market makers use emotions because they have to win they are always winning and 90 to 95 percent of retail guys are losing okay so for us we don't know what they're gonna do okay so cease from saying today they're gonna do this no 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 you don't know okay because even for me when the session opens i don't know if i'm gonna buy i don't even know if i'm gonna sell okay I don't know if I'm going to buy or sell. Okay. So I need the market to give me information. I want to trade from the perspective of the market, not from the perspective of my own uh, thinking. So I don't want to decide before the markets decide. Okay. So let's say, for instance, now when they do this, you know, you have a head and shoulder. Okay. You have a head and shoulder. And we know that for a head and shoulder, let me take a different. Sorry, guys, I'm not that fast because uh if i become fast most of you might get lost okay so i just want to uh be a little bit slow okay so you can pause this video if it's too long uh, do something that works for you okay so guys let's see now one thing we have oh oh okay sorry sorry now one thing okay uh let's just put it like this okay now one thing we have over here this becomes the neck line okay let's put it this way this now becomes the neckline okay okay we are inside a box that's why it's just snapping and doing all sort of things okay this becomes a neckline i'll put it in black okay it becomes a neckline so we have a shoulder head and a shoulder some people will see this as a triple top it's still okay and again some people will interpret this as a as a as as as, as maybe something as an asymmetrical triangle okay some people interpret this as a asymmetrical triangle it's still okay so when this pattern is building up like this 
we do nothing okay we do nothing because this is just part of the criteria okay if we are not given a chart patterns as i said i put all the chart patterns you need on your playbook okay it's in the description okay or you can just do okay i'll come to the economy calendar or you can just do a simple google search okay you'll find plenty of chart patterns okay so look at this this is just part of the criteria that we need okay very very important let me let me log this because uh this is rather let me log this because it's it's rather affecting me okay when i'm drawing the patterns it's affecting me now you see all these patterns can go let me lock these numbers as well okay let me lock these numbers because it makes everything way too easy for me okay because now i can just use uh the chart patterns in any way okay so some people obviously will uh interpret this as an asymmetrical triangle some people will, will interpret this as a triple top it's okay this is a chart pattern and this is important okay so now let's look at this now uh now we are going to the to the fourth criteria which is important remember the main goal guys don't forget the main goal the main goal is to know when not to trade okay so i told you this is a prerequisite of this one you can't come to this one until this one has been has actually uh been met okay if you, we were at school obviously you can't register for this module unless you have passed this module okay so this is a prerequisite this is a prerequisite of this one so now yes we have identified trap volume we have a chart pattern and as i said a chart pattern helps us know what the insiders the market makers are doing remember i told you market makers can see both sides they can see the front side and the back side they know exactly how much is where and how much is where because by law they are required to make the market therefore they need to know all these things and they are always winning and winning and winning i believe they're serving the most powerful people in the world they don't lose this is why we all know already that markets obviously are made to shift wealth from many people to the few okay so markets are serving the most powerful people in the world and they are the ones who own the market making side i'm not talking about hedge funds here i'm talking about the market makers the real ones okay who have to make the market because hedge funds only trade when there's an opportunity i know yes of course the, uh, but when it comes to mostly indices and stuff they don't have that power so i will explain that in a moment okay so look at this now we have a chart pattern okay a chart pattern helps us do what know what market makers have been doing we know who is trapped okay and now remember we now can go to the fourth criteria because this one has been met we have a chart pattern so when it comes to the fourth criteria uh it says identify the evidence candle okay uh the evidence candle is a candle which is an engulfing candle obviously it's an engulfing candle okay it's an engulfing candle and by the time it closes we need to know that those who are trapped those who are losing are now feeling the most pain okay they are now feeling the most pain okay so since now we know that those who are losing are feeling the most pain okay that's when we can execute but for simplicity i repeat for simplicity for everyone to understand because i know it will be hard for all of you to understand this okay so to make it easy we will say the, the the evidence candle is now the candle that breaks out okay however there are there are things i want you to understand when it comes to this part okay there are things i want you to understand when it comes to this part okay three things will happen when we have a chart pattern okay let me try to explain these things over here the first thing that will happen say in this case we have a head and shoulder and of course we did mention that others saw a triple top and others literally saw an asymmetrical triangle okay because uh okay okay this one is where we have the right angle triangle why because you can see the necklines are uh, like uh the neckline okay you see this is the low after making the 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 the, the first shoulder they went and made a head and then they came and bounced roughly on this line okay so once they bounce on the on the neckline that simply means it becomes a right angle or triangle okay however let me show you the example that we just used okay let's say for instance what we have is a head and shoulder but it's this kind of uh of a head and shoulder right that's the one we drew okay so this one obviously you can see this is the neckline we are taking 
the bounces, okay, on the neckline, okay? So some people, yes, of course, if it's like this, some people will see it as an asymmetrical triangle. Some people will see it as a shoulder, head, sh uh, shoulder. It's up, on, it's up to you what you see, but you must see a good chart pattern, okay? So three things are going to happen when you come here, okay? Let me put it in green, okay? Mostly, they're going to break out and just go 50 pips. And for us, because it's on a one-minute time frame, we need our 50 pips to be hit or 50 points anyway, to be hit on the first move before they start pulling back, okay? Because sometimes, or most of the time, they will pull back. If they want to go down, they will just pull back and continue, okay? But we want our take profit to be hit on the first move down. That is highly, highly important, okay? That's what I need, okay? So, there are days when they will just break down and trend, okay? So, that's important to know, okay? And, of course, there are days when they will literally, there are days when they will literally break out, pull back and then go down okay so you need to know what kind of trader you want to be okay because what works for me might not work for you okay you might feel more comfortable when you wait for 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 a retest okay however you need to know that all these things have uh, advantages and ad disadvantages i will explain that okay this is important to know and of course there are days when they will break out and then reverse okay they can just continue doing uh whatever they're doing or they will reverse okay so we need to know that three things will happen okay it's not always gonna be a breakout and then trend no personally for me i prefer the breakout okay i love the breakout and again it boils back to the pattern okay the, the the type of pattern i've also put that on the playbook you'll see okay so for me i love the breakout once they give me an engulfing candle like this and this breaks out i know now that when this candle closes everybody who went up and up and up is trapped and these are the guys who are going to be punished mostly uh knowing the fact that there are people who don't use stop losses and the market is is it's it's, it's actually going to punish them more okay so that's the most important thing okay so for me i prefer the breakout for you you might maybe prefer breakout and retest okay but for me i don't have a problem if it's a breakout i will take it and put a one candle stop okay so mostly you'll find that even if they uh pull back uh still i'm safe but yes of course if they pull back there are days when they will close me however my main idea is this is explosive as i told you most of the days my take profit gets healed in roughly four to six minutes so mostly uh, the breakouts work well for me. So that's why I prefer being a breakout trader, okay? So that's the most important thing and you need to know that three things will happen, okay? So now that we've got that out of the way, I believe you understand. So for me, what I'll do is I will execute the breakout, okay? Because this is explosive and I will be targeting 50 pips and mostly you'll f find out that 50 pips is going to be hit before they come to this level because most likely most likely they will they are more likely to bounce on this level remember this is the closing price of the previous day if we look at this carefully you'll know that this is the closing price of the previous day because this is the session so mostly they will bounce on this one and reverse they're more likely to do that okay of course they're this well they'll continue but most mostly i repeat mostly they're gonna uh, react to a level okay so for me I'll take the evidence candle, which is the engulfing candle, which broke out. So now this is this is uh, the green light for me. This is the green light for me. Okay. This says, oh, now you can do what you want. Now you can execute. Okay. This is the green light for me. Remember the main goal, guys, that we have been talking about all day long. Okay. The main goal is to know when not to, okay? This is highly, highly important. You need to know when not to, when not to, okay? And these other ones are pre-requests except of the first criteria because some days we won't be able to identify that, okay? So now we got our evidence candle, which is now the breakout candle, the evidence candle. And for me, the breakout must be an engulfing candle. Very important. I repeat, it must be an engulfing candle. And that's what qualifies it to fall under the evidence candle okay so i'll just come here and then just come and say uh uh let me just put it like this in uh, in golf okay okay because it won't qualify unless it's an engulf for me because i know that when they shift the zones with an engulfing candle it's like they want you they want those who 
who fell for the move up to to be at huge losses immediately and that's a sign that they're not going to release them okay so for me roughly that's where i will execute okay breakout okay i love breakouts so i will take it uh let's say maybe 50 pips is here okay so i'll take it and mostly it's gonna just go straight and hit my 50 pips and as i said i want to be out by this time so you see what qualifies this to be a trade for me it's the criteria they help me sit on my hands i'm not gonna do anything until the criteria are fully met okay that's 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 important for me that's important for me of course okay so let's say for instance i want to give another example okay uh remember this is happening during the session yes of course some days they will make the first leg maybe before the session make the second leg when the session opens and make the third leg during the session one thing i need to know is when i'm drawing the pattern after the session has opened uh i can see who is trapped and that's what i'm gonna execute so right now let's look at a different example quite quick okay okay let's look at uh uh okay oh sorry i've locked this levels but it's okay i've locked this uh oh okay 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 let me just uh take this back take this back okay okay there now let's say there are days when we literally okay oh sorry sorry okay sorry 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 so let me just uh okay 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 so let me just unlock this once okay sorry guys okay so what i'm really doing right now here is uh the session is open okay and let's say they are doing this remember the goal guys know when not to trade okay let's say now what they literally do is uh they didn't give a pattern they 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 they, they, they okay they didn't give a pattern so they just collapse okay they just collapse without giving a pattern remember the goal is know when not to okay important 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 know when not to so i told you these other ones we cannot continue because they are they are actually prerequisites of the other one this is the only one we can continue if it's not made okay this is highly 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 important so guys if they do something like this we are sitting on our hands and there's important uh, part i missed okay i'll i'll go to that okay uh of course uh should i go back to it uh okay let me go back to it quite quick okay let me go back to it okay because this is highly highly important okay when this candle closes okay when this candle closes remember we are on a one minute time frame okay this is a one minute one this is a one minute time frame that we are trading on okay when this candle closes the evidence candle mostly it must be it must be at or near okay important 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 at or near the hour okay the hour mark or or i repeat okay let me do this or or half hour mark okay this is crucial 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 okay and this is what makes the whole process more easy for you i know that people will say we don't see this but guys remember you have all you everything is actually stuck on on your side you can't say you don't see this okay if you don't see this just go and practice or practice it on your charts until you see this because uh most likely you're not going to see things on the first attempt and people tend to come and complain after just uh, uh maybe looking at this maybe today they didn't fully understand they lost tomorrow they lost and now they come in and complaining no go and back test this before you practice it okay that's when you realize what's working okay so when this candle closes mostly it must be 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after the hourly mark okay 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after the hour mark that's what confirms your entry okay again another thing is it it must be or uh, 10 minutes or 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after the 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 the, the half pass mark the half hour mark okay so for example this might happen at roughly uh okay the session opened at 15 uh, at 9 30 us time let's say this can happen roughly at uh maybe 10 minutes to 
10 a.m. Okay, or maybe six minutes. Uh, pause. Okay, 10 U.S. time. Okay, that simply means uh, the opportunity is literally given uh, in between. 10 minutes before the hourly mark and 10 minutes after the hourly mark and if it's given exactly on the hourly mark that's 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 a giveaway okay that's that's a giveaway okay so always know that time is important because markets are all about time 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 is important everything happens at a specific time hence why i always want to come during the equity open every day okay so if this uh, this is happening it's going to be at or near the half hour mark let's use 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after okay or exactly at the at these times okay so this is extra confluence for you okay and again let me show you another thing another thing say okay 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 say you are using it a, a emas emas are important okay you can use you can just use a 20 ema to confirm your entry and if you're using a 20 MA, mostly you'll realize that it goes like this and then it starts sloping down. So as long as this candle, if it's a sell opportunity, as long as this candle is, is uh, below the EMA, that's a good one. OK, or uh, sometimes you can use a combination of EMAs where you use the EMA of five, nine. Uh, you can also use like uh, uh, 20. OK, five, nine, 20. OK so mostly this emas will cross each other okay and this trade will be below okay so that will be a very good entry for you okay that's just extra confluence but mostly you don't need that if you understand this okay so guys that is very important as well you can just uh okay let's do this let's take this ones out but the timings are the times that uh the opportunities will most likely be given okay so okay let me delete this okay oh it's locked oh, okay did i i locked it right okay fine let me just unlock this okay so i that i can delete okay so now guys i believe you have seen these things okay so there are days when literally what they will do is okay they will just okay sorry i'm using a a, a, a wrong color wrong color wrong color okay it's fine and then there are days when roughly they will just okay just come down and down and down and at this point you can't take a trade why because our criteria are not fully met okay we didn't have the pattern okay do we have the pattern no we don't have the pattern so we can't continue to this one and obviously we can't go all the way to the entry part okay because we haven't identified trade volume bef uh, during the session okay so you see this helps you know when not to okay so guys uh okay Remember, we are here. Say, for instance, they might just come and do something like this. Uh, they'll come and bounce here. And then uh, let's say they come again and bounce. Okay. And then they do this and they come and again and bounce for the third time. So let me blow this up. Okay. Let me blow this up. Okay. So this will literally mean one thing. When you look at this, this will show you that this is a triple bottom. Okay, this is what this is literally a triple bottom. Okay, this is a triple bottom. As you can see, it's a triple, triple bottom. Okay, this is a triple bottom. It's a pattern. Okay, however, as I told you, now what do we have? Okay, let's go to back to our criteria because this is important. And sorry, guys, I'm taking a lot of time because I want you all to understand this. Okay, so here now we have a pattern what pattern do we have a triple bottom oh that's beautiful right we have a triple bottom now we go to the next criteria okay remember we cannot get to the entry until all these criteria are met right so now what we have is the pattern now what are we waiting for say maybe prices do like this and eventually boom with a b beautiful 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 big engulfing candle okay let me use a different color to show the engulf because for me it's always an engulf and again remember the three possibilities that will that can happen okay so that simply means you must decide are you gonna wait for breakouts 
and pullbacks or do you want to execute breakouts so if you're gonna wait for pull breakouts uh, uh, breakouts if you're gonna decide to okay like me personally i prefer breakouts okay because this is an explosive strategy okay mostly it's not even gonna turn back of course yes of course there are days when they will do do that and go all the way back okay and back test but most of the days uh they won't okay so for me i prefer breakout once i get a breakout with a beautiful engulfing that's it this is an evidence candle because everybody went down 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 is at a huge loss immediately and that's what they want they don't want you to to to, to get the opportunity to exit quick they want you to be at a loss and now you're relying on hope oh i can't close because the loss is too big i want them to come back to break even so that i can close and they are never gonna come back to break even so that's what they want you to do they want you to think like that okay so for me it's a breakout okay uh that simply means every time a breakout happens i'm gonna trade it every time it happens i'm gonna take it okay so if you want to be a, a person who waits for 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 a test that simply means you should build your strategy based on retest okay don't say okay today i'm taking a breakout or today i'm taking a retest remember you must be accountable you have to journal your trades and when you journaling it's very easy if you are taking the same thing over and over and over again that's where you will improve that's where you'll know that okay my win rate is this because you are not mixing things okay so for me i'm a breakout guy okay of course sometimes they will close me and then come and give a confirmation that they are going i'll just take another trade okay i will re-enter okay so that's that's something i'm willing to do okay that's something i'm willing to do because i know there's a possibility for that but because i know most of the days they're just going to explode immediately i want to be a breakout guy okay for those who want to retest some days you're going to miss the move but in case of a retest you it's going to be uh, safer for you okay but for me if they retest i can just come and take another trade okay so i don't have a problem with that okay so as you can see as you can see this is the evidence candle and now when we go back to our criteria because everything boils around our criteria and i'm trying here to help people with patience okay look at this once this is met it's an engulfing now i know uh it's 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 also a breakout those who went down are trapped okay so now only now can we we can go to the entry part and when it comes to the entry part i told you i told you for me it's 50 pips okay it's 50 pips it's 50 pips for me okay so let's say this is 50 pips okay so yes if that is 50 pips mostly you realize that they're just gonna explode immediately okay and i want my fifth my i will actually want my tp to be hit on the first move up because they can they are most likely to do this if they want to continue they'll pull back pull back and continue of course most of the time they're not going to close me okay if they're continuing okay but i want my take profit to be hit quickly so i told you you can divide your lot sizes uh uh divided by two if you or by three if you want to take multiple trades and then make sure your first one takes profit at 50 and then you can just leave this one to go and go and go because sometimes they can go roughly 600 700 900 500 300 pips okay or points okay i also do that okay i also do that some of the time so this is how this thing works okay this is how this thing work okay the main goal is to know when not to trade and you know that if they have trap traders sometimes or most of the times they're not going to release them okay and they are more likely to react on the level so guys i shared with you a lot of things on one video i wanted to share something important uh regarding the the the, the types of trends we have three different trends okay uh okay but uh, i'm not gonna go into that because the video is too long already if you go roughly to page three you'll see i've put uh different kinds of trends as you can see here we have three types of trends okay this helps you not to count on trends uh, strong moves or to know what to expect from the market because uh most of the time if you they give you an explosive trend as you see here and you counter trend it you might blow your account okay but uh that's very important knowledge you can just go and search uh just go and look on your on your on your on your playbook i put everything there and i have a couple of videos where i explain that as well okay so it's already there all the all the all the 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 the, the different types of trends are there in your playbook we have more than uh it's roughly more than more than three types of creeping trends we have two explosive trend and we have two types of normal trends okay i think we have more than five four five yes more than 
five uh, crippling trends. Okay, yes, it's it's actually many crippling trends. And I've put all the trends you need in the playbook. Okay, you can get it from the description. Everything is there. Okay, but right now I really can't go uh, into that because the video is already long. But guys, I took my time. I shared everything with you that you need to know. Okay, everything you need to know. So this is simply trap volume bef uh, during the session. And that's uh, that's something important. We identify trap volume. Uh, this is trapped. Okay. But during, okay, I'll just put a D, okay, during session, okay. Yes, I'll put a D and S just to show that this is trap volume uh, literally during the session, okay. Trap volume during the session. And this here is the equity time, okay. This is the equity time. Equity time, right? Yes, this is the equity time. Uh, sorry for my typing, guys. But you can see, obviously, this is the equity, okay. Uh, just equity time equity open actually equity open okay yes this is the equity open and these are just our criteria and now this is the evidence candle this is the evidence candle okay evidence candle that's the evidence candle so these are our criteria then we can take our our entry once everything has been fully met okay so guys if you this is the entry entry and exit because there i put entry and exit uh exits okay because uh obviously you have a stop loss below the engulfing candle so that when you are wrong you are closed right away okay remember it's all about throwing uh, mud on your wall if it holds you hold on and you get paid if it falls you get closed immediately and you move on okay so you see guys this is how I execute this. This is everything there is to this strategy. And uh, you have to know the different kind of trends because sometimes they'll give you different kind of trends. And that is very, very important to know. Okay. And I've explained that too many times. But guys, it's going to be the same opportunities day in, day out. Okay. Just know that the evidence candle again will come at a time. Maybe uh, the first hour they'll do this. Okay. And at the open of the second hour that's when they might give you this opportunity or maybe sometimes they'll use the first and the second hour to do this and the third hour that's when they'll give you uh the opportunity and of course it's gonna be at or near 10 minutes before all the way to 10 minutes after the hourly mark or 10 minutes before to 10 minutes after the half hour mark okay so time is very important it's gonna help you a lot Okay, time is important. Okay, this uh, this evidence candle will be given roughly at these times. Okay, so you just need to know that you are waiting and you are looking at your clock just to confirm your entries. And again, if you're going to be using the EMA since this time around, it's a buy. You realize that the EMA now closes something like this. Okay. Oh, so sorry, guys. I used uh, a green color. I wasn't supposed to use that. So you realize that the 20 EMA is most likely to do something like this. And now it confirms your trade. Okay. So, guys, that's, 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 that's all there is. That's all you should be looking out for this week. And again, on the economic calendar, you can see that we have a beautiful week. Okay. Today it's Monday. Uh, most likely we're going to get a beautiful opportunities. There's no news. Okay. And then, of course, uh, Tuesday we have news okay so when we have news you can see uh, these are news that are happening uh, okay the session opens at 3 30 South African time but the news are happening at 3 45 so we are not gonna actually trade until after the news have traded okay until after the news have traded that is highly highly important okay we wait for the news to trade because news are news they can just uh, disturb you on Wednesday it's gonna be a beautiful day Thursday, you can see the news South Africa at 4 p.m. Okay, so we're gonna wait for after 4 p.m. I'm not gonna, I, I, I don't trade if there are news. I'm gonna wait for 30 minutes after the equity has opened all the way for this news to trade. And once they have traded, that's when I'll be uh, actually looking for an opportunity. As you can see on Friday as well, we have news late at 4 p.m. South African time, which is roughly gonna be um, 10 a.m. US time. So I really don't do anything up until the news have uh, traded, okay? So that's it, guys. We have a beautiful week coming and everything is so beautiful. Go and put in the work and be prepared for the opportunities. The most important thing, as I've said, is the process. The process remains the same for me, okay? 
because if you look at this channel you realize that most of the videos revolve around the same thing and that's what is trading for me okay that's what is trading so guys it's gonna happen so if you don't see anything if they don't give you a pattern or these criterias are not met that simply means on the day you don't have a trade so don't force things you don't have because the goal is to know what when not to trade guys i love you all hit the subscription button if you are new and like share comment and yeah for the uh, logarithm sake so that many can benefit from this uh, information guys i appreciate you have a beautiful week ahead thank you